purpose of CAD is to be able to draw efficiently, and one of the best ways to increase your efficiency is to use blocks. Blocks are symbols, parts that you've drawn ahead of time and reuse in the drawing over and over again. This particular drawing has a number of pre-drawn entities. Imagine what it would be like to draw each one from scratch each time. When I zoom in, you can see here one of those blocks is being used. When I select it, NanoCAD describes it as a block with its name further down. The way to create a block is to draw the object you want represented as the symbol. And the easiest symbol of all to draw is a rectangular desk. So I'm going to create one that's 1500 millimeters wide, 750 deep. I'll select it and then the object type you can see is polyline. To turn it into a reusable block, I'm going to go to the insert tab and then choose create block. Up pops the block definition dialog box. Every block needs a name. That's how you identify it from all the other blocks in a drawing. I'm going to call this one desk. Now there's a whole bunch of options here which we need to look at. The perhaps most puzzling one is the base point. Well when you insert a block you have to pick a point in the drawing in which NanoCAD knows to place the block. Typically the base point will be in the center of the block or in one corner. To specify the base point you click the pick point button dialog box disappears. For this desk, I'm going to choose the lower left corner. Then a NanoCAD needs to know out of all the objects in the drawing, which one do you want to be part of the block? So I'm going to select the objects by choosing the polyline. When I'm done selecting, I press enter and I'm back in the dialog box. Under settings, I can choose to have the block scaled uniformly. We're going to leave that for now. Allow exploding means you can turn it from a block back into its original polyline. As for block units, well, I used millimeters to define the lengths, and that's important when this block is inserted into other drawings, and so NanoCAD needs to know what the units are to size it appropriately. Finally, there's this section here. Uh, the default is to convert the polyline that I selected into a block. If I were to choose the retain option, the polyline is still turned into a block but only as a block definition, meaning that the drawing knows there's a block, but it has not yet been inserted. I will still see the polyline. And then the third option is to delete, and that means that NanoCAD will delete the polyline once the block is defined. I'm going to keep the default of convert to block. Click OK. Now when I select the rectangle, you can see the property says it's a block, and down here is the name desk. To insert the block in the drawing, use the block command. I'll click on it, and now we have the insert block dialog box. Here's a uh, list of names of blocks in the drawing. Currently we only have that one block called desk. Over here, this is a preview window, so you can see what it looks like. And then we have three sets of options. All three of them include an option called specify on screen. This means that after I click the OK button, then NanoCAD will prompt me where I want to put the insertion point, or with this option turned off, I can specify the option in the dialog box. So I'm, I'm going to change the rotation angle to 45 degrees and click OK. So there you can see a preview of the block as I move it around. And at the bottom corner of the block is the insertion point, which we had defined as the base point when we defined the block. So I'm going to click and zoom out. Once again, the properties command tells us it's a block of the name desk rotated at 45 degrees. And NanoCAD allows you to change that number. Let's change it to 15, and now it's rotated by 15 degrees. You can keep repeating the command to insert other blocks quickly in the drawing, much faster than drawing rectangles. Sometimes the blocks you draw need to be a specific size. Other times they can be any size. And so we have these desk blocks here that are of a specific size, 1500 by 750, but desks can be bigger and smaller. Now you could draw a separate block for every size of desk, but the better way to do it is use what's called a unit block. A unit block is essentially one unit by one unit, and then when you insert the block, you specify the size. 
Here I've drawn a rectangle that's uh, going to be our unit desk. It's one millimeter by one millimeter. I start the block command. Let's call this the unit desk. The base point as before. Lower left corner. Select the rectangle. This time I'm going to choose the delete option to remove it from the drawing. However, the definition of the block still exists. It's just invisible. Click OK and it's gone. Use the insert command. Select the unit desk. This time I'm going to specify scale factors. So first I'm going to place a desk that is the same dimensions as the earlier one. Click OK and specify the insertion point. Let me zoom out so we can see the entire desk. I'm going to repeat the command and this time make a smaller desk. So say 1000 by 500. Click OK. Specify the insertion point. So now we have two desks of different sizes made from the same block.